physical exam of the hip. It's important to assess the back in every patient with hip pain. We normally ask the patient to bend forward and ask them if they have any type of pain in the lower lumbar area or in the SI joint. We're also going to assess proprioception, asking the patient to bend their knee forward with their eyes closed. Once this is performed, we ask the patient to lay supine in the table. It's important to assess leg length discrepancy in these patients, as well as their neurovascular status. We ask the patient to push their feet forward, up, external rotation and internal rotation. Rolling checks consist on rolling the leg and asking the patient if they have any type of pain in the hip. Once this is performed, hip rate of motion is assessed. We assess the flexion, external rotation, internal rotation, which is normal, normal, normally uh, compromising patients with hip FAI. Impingement maneuvers are then performed by flexion, adduction, and internal rotation. It's important to ask the patient if the pain that they are having is the pain that brings them today in the office. We are also going to perform the favor test, which consists of flexion, abduction, and external rotation. Abduction is normally assessed, and this the abduction is normally reduced in patients with subspine syndrome. Afterwards, an iliopsoas bicycle test is performed, asking the patient to cycle in the air. We ask if they have any type of snapping or pain in the anterior part of their hips. Once this is performed, we are going to assess for the presence of pubalgia. This is performed asking the patient to put their feet in the table and squeeze the forearm. While we do this, we will compress the pubis as well as the adductors. After this is done, we perform the evaluation of the abductors. This consists in assessing first the ITB, asking the patient to elevate the leg and resist while I'm pushing back down with the knee in extension. After we ask the patient to bend the knee and we assess for the presence of weakness in the glute as well as pain in the DT area. We are also going to assess the presence of piriformis. We ask the patient to put their feet together and open like a clamp. The patient will normally report pain in the back part of their hip. Femoral version is also important. We ask the patient to lay prone, put the knee together, and then lay the feet to the side. Patients with excessive anteversion will have excessive internal rotation in neutral and we also assess the external rotation on both limbs. Finally, while the patient lies prone, we are also going to assess the presence of pain in the SI joint areas on both sides, right and left. Thank you very much.